greetings and every one of you in this new broadcast of Foundation TV, the institutional program of Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation. To make them possible possible is the dream that drives us on our social work in different countries around the world. I am now inviting you to be our headline. In Amazonas, Colombia, reached Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquives' friendly hand with the 35th Health Brigade in order to assist the Ticuna Yagua and Cucama indigenous communities. One Day for Kids educational campaign was successfully healed in Switzerland. In Chile, our volunteers learn sign language. More than 1,500 children shared an unforgettable day for the celebration of the campaign called A School Kid, A Project of Life. Let's start out with the Amazons, where the 35th Health Brigade conducted various activities with indigenous communities of the region. There we have our reporter, Carlos Munevar. Hello, our friends from Foundation TV. We are here at the port of Leticia, Amazonas, El Malecón, on our way to Puerto Nariño, where we are going to run the Health Brigade. 30 volunteers between medical and logistical staff from Bogota, Medellin and Leticia began a journey for more than six hours on a boat through the Amazonas River to reach Puerto Nariño. Right now we are navigating through the Amazonas, so we can see how the river is on a high level. This is a growing season, so the houses are flooded. Some houses are damaged for the flooding, some other houses have been adapted, so the river won't affect their places in the rainy seasons. Let's see an indigenous culture. This community does for fishing living. At midnight, we arrived at Puerto Nariño very early. The next day, we started to work to begin the Health Brigade number 35, led by the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation. The Puerto Nariño Health Brigade planning began about a month ago with the management to carry out this great brigade to benefit Colombians, this humble population of Amazonas. We are about four or five hours from Leticia to the Amazonas River. We could coordinate with some private entities, the principal donors, people with good hearts, who decide to donate. Thanks to that we can be here today, bringing benefits to this community. Some of the 400 people from different indigenous communities in the Amazonas travel over three hours by boat to receive attention in general medicine gynecology, pediatrics, dentistry, physiotherapy, physical therapy, psychology, and optometry. Uh, this is good because they are protecting health, child health, and my son's health too. Then, they should come here more to do brigades like this one, just like right now. This is great, very nice, because they are attending everybody. This means joy for me, because this is what all of us should do, collaborate. In Colombia, we need people who are prepared and willing people who work for the others. Laboratory tests were done, among which were highlighted the cytologists that were preceded by volunteers during the brigade. Also, a few pregnant women had the chance to see their babies through an ultrasound. I could see my baby, is a boy, a child. This is the first time I see a baby through an ultrasound. I could never do it with any of my five children. This is the first ultrasound for almost all moms, so they are all, all very happy because they're knowing which one is the sex of their babies. They're living so happy and we're verifying that our babies are healthy and we're also looking if there is any case of pregnancy to send to Leticia. One of them was a 40 years old, Darcil Cayetano from Puerto Nariño, who found out she was pregnant during the brigade. She was attended by our gynecologist specialist in human genetics. I'm feeling very happy for being here at the brigade. I had the chance to take my children to dentistry. They were kindly attended. I was attended too, and I was afraid that the results will say that now I'm pregnant. Besides, the children were the worm and received a fluoridation of teeth as part of a campaign of oral health 
to prevent caries. Dr. Rabi deliver oral hygiene kits thanks to Colgate, which joins this social work. Similarly, adults receive recommendations to prevent disease and injury. We have treated more than 400 people, more than 800 attentions. The strengths of the foundation are definitely its volunteers. Health professionals working with great commitment with the motivation that gives Dr. Man Luisa to help all people in need. La salud de los colombianos es nuestra felicidad porque ayudar es nuestro trabajo. So this is all from Puerto Nariño reported to you. Carlos Munevar Gonzalez. Carlos, thank you very much. It is truly amazing to see how Health Brigade do not only give medical attention, but also a voice of hope. Now we give way to Wilson Cherry, who is in Chile, where our volunteers are now being trained in sign language. We are here in Santiago de Chile. We invite you to see the following note. The Maralisa de Moreno International Foundation has been training about 90 volunteers on Chilean Sign Language. Volunteers acquire tools to perform activities for inclusion for the 700,000 people that here in Chile have hearing disabilities. For the volunteers, it has been very grateful to get into this new world to contribute to inclusion. Through the foundation, a desire that I had has been fulfilled, which was to learn other languages. I thought these people didn't think or act the way I do, but I have realized that they have the same capacities. Thanks to the foundation that allowed me to do this course and meet these people. Excellent. I feel very good here. I am very happy because we all learn sign the language. We all share our knowledge from the perspective of a deaf person. We are making progress and that's the reason why I enjoy so much being here. Through the foundation, a desire that I had has been fulfilled, which was to learn other languages. I thought these people did not think or act the same way I do, but I have realized that they have the same capacities, thanks to the foundation that allowed me to do this course and meet these people. In the cities of Santiago, Viña del Mar, and Antofagasta, volunteers have learned to communicate with people with hearing disabilities. This has been all the information from Santiago de Chile. You may continue with more information with Foundation TV. That's great news, Wilson. On the other hand, we can tell you that a campaign called One Day for Kids was held in Switzerland. We'll leave you with Benjamin Toro, who has all the information. Good morning everyone from Neuchatel in Switzerland. On this beautiful morning, over 500 children are enjoying the celebration One Day for Kids by Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation here in Switzerland, learning the values of fellowship and generosity that our president and founder, Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive, has taught us. Also collaborating with the work that is leading the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation in England. Here in Switzerland, we will support this wonderful project so more than 100 children in Bangalore, India will enjoy the educational scholarships. Then together we can build a bridge between the foundation in Switzerland and the foundation in India. This same campaign was held in different departments in Colombia. Let's go to Villavicencio Meta where we teach about the personal values. With cultural events, recreation, dynamic, face painting, and herald styles for girls, the foundation emphasizes its commitment with children here in the Department of Meta. About 600 children from different neighborhoods in the capital of Meta gathered at the sports center in the neighborhood El 2000 where the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation with the support of businessmen of the city celebrate this important date. I am very happy because the Maria Luisa Foundation gave me this gift. I am very happy here in the sports center de 2000. Thanks to Dr. Maria Luisa, I have this toy. People have known the work we have done for five years in the department of META, and people, traders, entrepreneurs have been linked to this beautiful work, and I want to take this moment to give thanks to all traders and all Villavicencio companies that are truly valuable to us. They know what we do, and they are happy with us. 
We are grateful, always grateful with the foundation. Now we're not only in the recreation with children, also with the seniors. Also bringing aid to vulnerable families in the city of Villa Vicencio. And then people have known about us. We have been working with all people. We are very happy, always giving the best of us. Greetings from Villa Vicencio. A greeting to all people who love this work. It is a wonderful work. We invite everyone to be a link. It is a work that we do with all of our heart, inspired by Dr. Maria Luisa Piroquide. In Servita, north of Bogotá, Colombia, around 1,500 children shared an unforgettable afternoon as part of the campaign called A School Kit, A Project of Life. Let's look at the report. Good afternoon to all of you Foundation TV viewers. Today, we are here at the Servita Coliseum enjoying a spectacular day. Let's see the development of this wonderful event. Very early, start coming from different areas of northern Bogota, children accompanied by the parents to share an evening filled with joy with the educational campaign, a school supply, a life project, led by the International Foundation Maria Luisa de Moreno. Educational activities, recreational games and artists allowed that adults and children sing and dance to share an unforgettable moment with family. I found it very nice. I think these are the spaces that sometimes we need as parents to share more and more. They are values that sometimes for the ingredients and the passive days, we have to strengthen them each and every single day. Some of these are respect and tolerance, and I think we've worked around them today. To Hormi, social inclusion is vital. So he invited to his show people with visual and hearing disabilities who told the importance of learning sign language to strengthen communication. Tell me, what have you learned from this event? The values are also to share and to have fun in a good way. I think this is really cool because we have shared with many people and they have brought many activities. Amigo, ¿quieres bailar? Sí, pero guíame, es que no puedo ver. To Hormi, social inclusion is vital, so he invited to his show people with visual and hearing disabilities who told the importance of learning sign language to strengthen communication. It was a great show today. We we'll celebrated a school supply, a project of life. And it's very nice to see how 3,000 people have gathered here in Servita, within which we have 1,500 boys and girls. This is the gift from Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive, who sent to school supplies for each kid. At the end of the day, school kids were given to the children who attended the emotional event full of fun. We were very well attended. The warm you have given us is so beautiful. The children have been very happy. Also, they received the gift of their school supplies. So we thank the Maria Luisa Moreno Foundation for all the love and generosity with children, with the elderly, with everyone. This is how it ends this wonderful event, filled with great joy, charged with many gifts and many teachings. This educational campaign has been replicated in 30 departments of Colombia where the foundation makes presence. We leave you with Sara Rojas who is in Santa Marta Magdalena. We greet you from Santa Marta celebrating the campaign A School Supply A Life Project. We give you a special greeting. We want to share with you the following note and let's see. About 600 children from different neighborhoods in the capital of Meta gathered at the sports center in the neighborhood El 2000 where the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation, with the support of entrepreneurs of the city, celebrate this important date. What do you think about this activity in this institution? Good morning, Sara. It has been great, very beautiful activity. Honestly, I like to come with the support from all of you and the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation and that you all remember the kids from the community of Los Alpes de Timayui.
to come and share with them. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you all because you are always present. You all have done great things, making possible to bring joy each year. Yes, the foundation that you are part of is important. You've given greater gifts for the children that are in need of them, but you all show up and it's precious, wonderful, that you all brought these gifts and again, we are satisfied and joyful for the children from the educational institution of Ondas del Caribe. All the teachers from the project Read to Grow want to give a big thanks to the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation for these great gifts for our kids knowing that it is a vulnerable population that need all of this. Thanks, Dr. Maria Luisa, for this gift that will help us in our studies. Hi, Dr. Maria Luisa. My name is Sharik Daniela and I send you greetings and a big thanks for the school supplies. And with this big greeting, we say goodbye from the city of Santa Marta, Sara Rojas. Children in Colombia pass through many difficulties to access to education. Do not leave them alone in this journey. Help us transform their reality. We're building schools across the country. With your support, children are ensuring their educational future. La Fundación María Luisa me dio una nueva educación. Ayuda también a los niños que necesitan tu donación. Make your donations at marialuisafoundation.org. Now we go to our headquarters in Prado, where the ceremony culture of the project called Discover the Disability and Opportunity was held. This campaign helps people with disabilities become autonomous and productive. People with hearing, visual and mild cognitive disability graduated from the pilot project which helps to promote autonomy in social inclusion through productivity. Dr. Mara Luisa began to see people with disabilities in a different way and wanted to teach the world to see them in the same way, seeing them not from their disability, but from their human side, from their capacities. There are institutions that have been working on this matter in Spain for 60 years, very big institutions that are supporting the project and the method of Dr. Mara Luisa. We have seen and known institutions like Foundation Once, which has 32,000 people with visual disabilities employed, and that is great. Lantegui Batuac has 2,800 people with disabilities, most of them with cognitive disabilities. This process has been brought to Colombia. They are being part of this development in which we are working on a productive model. We are perfecting what they are doing and extending it because we are working from humans. I feel very happy, very pleased, because it was a challenge to share with various disabilities in the same speech, with cognitive, hearing and visual disabilities. For me it was something new, to interact, to communicate, to get a friendship, be kind and learning from each other. It was a very nice and very rewarding experience. During three months the graduates were trained at the locations of Prado and Bosa Recreo where in addition to build their life project, they have developed skills for employability. It was a whole process and a very big challenge. Not all deaf people who were trained knew the same language or Spanish writing. None of this would have been possible without a team effort of both trainers and trainees. I think it was the best training because we were trained by a deaf person like us, right? Andres taught us all and adapted all specifically for us as a deaf people, and it was easier to understand everything. I have learned a lot with them. They have learned a lot of ways to train people. I have learned to communicate with other people in a new and different context, which I'm not used to. We have an excellent balance. We get the results, and not only in relationship to discover people's skills, the success is also because business people who work in different entities want to join this work, opening its doors and opening the opportunity for many people to be linked. With people who have cognitive impairment, we had to start from scratch, adapting the methodology and all, programming productive families in an educational way to make it understandable easy to relate so that they can adapt it to their life. 
Thank you immensely. Thanks for the opportunity you gave me with the process I could enroll in Sena and take technical education and logistic assistance. The challenge was to adapt the message we wanted to convey. We had to adapt the material, the visual resources, and spread the same message orally, and also adding new methodologies so that they could understand the idea. As a result of this project, many participants have developed productively. Freddy Sanchez is a visual disability who works selling plastic bags in the streets. When he finished his training at the foundation, was accepted to work in an important agency of real estate. I'm happy, very happy, because I'm doing something different. Before I had to be walking in the street risking my life. Now, I'm all day in a steady job. And it's the nicest thing that happened to me during this year. I started taking the foundation courses, and after 15 days, I got a job at a real estate agency. I'm already working in a real estate office. I'm selling apartments, houses, and renting places. Thank you very much to Dr. Maria Lisa. I hope she can continue helping people who are in a situation like mine. This is a great job she's doing. In the closing ceremony, the graduates perform a song greeting by them in which from the bottom of their hearts express how thankful they are to Dr. Melissa Pirakive for allowing them to discover their capabilities. <laughs> The successful pilot project of Bogota, Dr. Maria Luisa Piraquive, in collaboration with the Mayor of Santiago de Cali and the Ministry of Territorial Development and Social Welfare, and through the International Foundation Maria Luisa de Moreno, is released a program for people with disabilities, Without Limits. Let's see the note. Without Limits is a pioneering program in Colombia that seeks to discover the skills and talents of people with disabilities who are living in vulnerable areas in Cali in order to prepare them for labor inclusion. We decided to make a pilot program, the biggest that has ever been done in Colombia so far, to generate the training conditions and the social and labor conditions into the labor market for people with disabilities. We are very content because this program hasn't started and is benefit to all the people with disabilities. And like always, Dr. Maria Luisa have thought is we have to take care of the vulnerable people. And she is working with a disability subject. We have very important alliances, such as the Alliance of Foundation ONCE from Spain and the Ministry of Health of Spain, which are in charge of the disability issues. They will come to visit us in September to work under the agreement of Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation and the Mayor of Cali. This is very important because this project is getting into the specific issues of people with disabilities, the labor area. Then if this opens up doors with employers who may give us the opportunity and treat us like humans, like the rest of the world, it will be excellent. This program began with the sensitization of more than 1,700 people from the districts 1, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, 13, 15, 16, 18, and 20, which are in the Tillos, territories of inclusion and opportunities, through seven educational and recreational days in five health brigades where they learn not only about the program but also receive benefits, medical and specialized care. It is wonderful to find an interdisciplinary team of physicians and professionals from the health field all willing to work, serve and deliver their professionalism for these people, which unfortunately do have health benefits. 
They have felt very happy because they were able to receive the attention and also have been through the process of employability and through a road to reach the capacities that each person has so we can make an appropriate occupational profile, ending with a pre-registration of the course a training that lasts three months and a half where they will learn different subjects and will have training in traits or occupations according to the job offers that we have. This is a very big place. We have an interpreter. They taught us a lot of things. We have dogs. They explain us everything. We have the doctors and that has motivated me a lot, has animated me, and I am very pleased about the services. For us, as people with disabilities, this is great. These programs are much needed. I want to thank the International Foundation Maria Luisa de Moreno, Major of Santiago de Cali, and Social Welfare for remembering that we are also human beings. We exist and we need that kind of support and the affection of all of you. Now it's time for a summary about the most recent activities carried out by Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation in different countries. In Peru, 30 single mothers from the retirement human house from the district of Villa Maria del Triunfo receive aids from the foundation in a recreation activity with music and dance where the values and courage from these mothers to raise their families was highlighted. And at the Centro Poblado San Luis de Mazo, located in the district of Vegueta of the province of Uaura, took place an activity for more than 30 families with few resources who also received donations and food. They share a morning full of joy and smiles with recreational games set up by volunteers. In Mexico City, the foundation carried out an activity of oral hygiene and gave out some sets of teeth to seniors of vulnerable areas. In Cancun, with the support of Cinepolis, was developed the campaign Let's Go All to the Movies, where boys and girls from Cancun had the opportunity to visit a movie theater for the first time. And the community of Acacuca, municipality of Zapotlán de Juárez, Hidalgo, dressed in party with the development of the educational campaign One Day for Kids, where kids enjoy a fun theatrical work that invites children to imagine and dream while promoting values such as tolerance, friendship and respect. In Canada, the Maria Luisa de Moreno International Foundation is offering free English pronunciation classes for immigrants at two schools in the city of London, Ontario, so that they can communicate, improving their life quality. Moreover, along with Unison, an educational center for diabetes, it took place an educational activity to prevent this disease, where it was thought the importance of having a good nutrition and the advice to keep a healthy lifestyle. In Manta, Ecuador, the Foundation de la Hygiene Oral Health Brigade that beneficiates children and parents from the Educational Institute Angelica Flores Zambrano. In addition, school supplies were given to the Educational Unity of Jamil Documents from the neighborhood of San Felipe. In the city of Cuenca, in the Educational Center for Kids in Disability Condition, was developed an educational campaign, discovered a capacity and opportunity where not only were promoted the efforts to raise awareness among the society for inclusion, but also to promote spaces for the development and strengthening of the competence and skills of this population. We have reached the end of our program, and remember to follow us on the social networks that appear on the screen. Do not forget to subscribe for the upcoming broadcast on Foundation TV, because helping is our job.